spot. There are a couple spots in Pasco. No doubt about it. Yeah. yeah, and that's the competitive part about it, just going out there regardless of who you're facing, if it's the latter part of the game or not. Um, and some of the minor league guys are in there. It's just doing your job and you fantastic. It's fair to say that pitchers are a little bit ahead of the hitters right now. They're 22 strikeouts today. Um, yeah. Usually the case. Yeah. Uh, although during our lives, I felt like uh, some of our hitters were right on pace with our pitchers. So uh, definitely more strikeouts today. But I would say for the most part, I felt like our hitters – a little more advanced than they usually are. Uh, you Nolan. said the reports you've gotten on Nolan was that he was dialed in and ready. He makes a great play on the third play, the third batter of the game, and then he drives in two for you. Does that just show that <coughs> he's really ready? Definitely a, a nice way to start the first game of the season with a nice defensive play and then driving that ball the way he did. Um, he's been on time quite often in those lives. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's feeling pretty good right now. No, he, uh, he fit in so walks, no walks for your staff as well. Exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you talk to Doggy and the rest of the guys on, on that staff, they're really stressing, uh, just pounding the zone and uh, not giving up any freebies. So, really good. Previously, this morning, you talked about Andrew Kisner maybe getting the ball off the ground a little bit. You definitely did that kind of swing to do like, or what is like about a swing and his approach today? That was definitely off the ground. Um, <laughs> Benny hammered that ball. That was really, really good. Uh, it's something he's been working on a ton. Um, and, and credit to him, he spent the off season. Um, trying to do exactly that and doing some changes to his body and just overall movement to be able to not hit as many ground balls. Um, I don't think they're all going to look like that, but uh, that's definitely a step in the right direction. Back to Nolan, he, he finished so well so quickly last year, but do you think even you know having that year of experience and comfort level can produce even better results this year because of feeling just more home? More I do. I, I really do. A combination of some of the things he's been working on and just feeling a little more settled in the new city. Uh, I think both of those things, um, I'd never want to put a ceiling on that guy. He's really good, and I think there's a uh, room for him to, to do an uh, even better job than he did last year, for sure. Brooks, pick, Brooks pitched in South Korea the last two years. Did you watch film on him, or did the other? Yeah. Just just film, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right after we got him, I was able to watch a little bit of what he's done over there. What do you know about his mindset, his uh, just overall in communication with him. Some of our guys have actually seen him when he was here in the States prior to him going over. Um, and a uh, competitive kid uh, attacks the zone um, and doesn't kind of back off. And he's all over that today, which was, uh, it was, it was encouraging. Now that Dickerson's signing has been officially announced, how do you view him fitting into the I think he's going to be a, uh, a nice fit for us. Um, he's a guy that uh, mentality-wise, super tough. Uh, I would describe him as a gamer. He did a fantastic job against us when he was in Pittsburgh, just taking solid at-bats. Um, so to have him over here now is 